Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to create your own add-on or you can make your own add-on pack. This is more towards making a pack of your own to use, but um, this could also be used to just make your own add-on really. Um, so first thing you want to have is add-on info.txt as you can see right here, add-on info, uh, add-on title is your mod version, you can put whatever I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure all of this right here doesn't matter, but make sure you end it right here. So you can see uh, these two are connected. So that's something you want. And I'll show you what that is. And also next you want to have an add-on image. This is not required, but I mean it's just, just whatever. You don't have to have it. Uh, so if I go over here to details, you can see that it's 128 by 128. So it could be a one-to-one -one ratio, which means they're exactly the same. Or it could be a uh, two-to-one ratio, uh, as far as I heard. So it could be 256 by 128. And so I think you can also have 256 by 256 since it's still one to one ratio. And you can also probably do 512 by 512, but I don't know about that since I didn't see that anywhere. So I would just go for 256 by 256 unless you're willing on trying it on your own. I'm lazy as hell right now, so yeah. Okay. So I'm going to load the game real quick. Uh, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to, uh, where is it, VPK? Blah 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 bleep blah blah. Oh, it's probably installed. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm usually normally doing that in my desktop, so I'm confused about that. But it's all good. It's all good. So I'm gonna put it right here because it's not it's not in a workshop. So yes, yeah, we right here. Now I'm going to launch Left 4 Dead, and I'm going to show you in game real quick the things I'm going to be editing and what isn't changed, so that way you know uh, what I'm doing. All right, I am back. It is about to be done loading. There we go, there we go. So now I'm gonna first show the sniper it's normal. Hopefully now everything's okay. For some reason, my add-on was still on, even though I disabled it. But uh, we'll see, we'll see, we will see. I'm gonna show everything that is completely normal right now, and then I'll show you uh, what's different. Okay, yeah, so I have to restart the game. I guess when it's not a workshop, you disable it's only have to restart the game, which is stupid. As you can see, it shoots normally. Also, the HUD is green. You know, if I go ahead and kill something. <laughs> Sipper. Okay. Oh my god, I cannot spell. As you can see, it's red. There you go. Red, beautiful. Okay. Nice. Uh, I d let's just go ahead and quit. Show my screen. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So now I'm going to show what is different. Okay, give me a second. Let's see. So this is the wrong side because I'm smart, you know. Tutorial thingy. So in the scripts folder, we have a weapon here. Go ahead and open it up. I have no idea what's going on except we see zeros here. Probably confused about that. We'll see. So if you want to compare something, which this is going to be really useful for uh, checking for uh, uh, conflicting stuff, I guess. So we're going to go over to the original Left 4 Dead 2. We're going to open up the, the pack right here. This is the original Left 4 Dead 2 stuff. So if we go ahead and go to scripts, we're going to find the weapon. Oh, we're going to look for the sniper. Where's the sniper's at? Where's the sniper's at? Ah! Okay, right here. So military. So this is the original one. So if we go ahead and take this which is really cool site. This is the original on the left, remember. Left is original. Beautiful, beautiful original. Okay, okay. Anyways, uh, uh let me go ahead and go over here. We go to the the one that's completely changed. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this. Let's go ahead and compare. Let's see what's different. So this is really useful for comparing what is different between uh files. Uh, I'll show you exactly for what in a little bit. Um but so as you can see this one's modified. This one has like the best accuracy in the world, I guess. Um, as you can see, bullets it shoots out ten bullets instead of one bullet. Um, usually, though, whenever you see any game, it only looks like one bullet's coming out, regardless. But ten are indeed coming out. Um, cycle time. This, I believe, is the fire rate. So it's pretty fast. Um, clip size from 30 to 69. Okay, okay, we're gonna see that 30 to 69. Just, just remember that. 
So now I'm going to launch left fort two because left fort is two fort. I'm what god I'm so funny. I'll be back. Okay, I know what the problem is. I'm just stupid. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna die. So every time you make a change, you can freaking put thing in there. Forgot. Okay, okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me go to over here, go to add-ons. Place. Boom 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 boom. Just real quick, I want to show something that I've um, somehow uh, must have paused my recording and I lost it. But I changed the the name of the the survivors to uh, the, to purple. I'm going to show that real quick. How I did that. HUD kill feed, right? This is where I found all my stuff. So I'm gonna go to the folder resource UI HUD because this is where I got from the HUD kill feed. I'm gonna link their uh, their Steam. Thing in the description, but um, I compared it. I'll show you. I can just show you how I compared it. Okay. Oh my God! Can you go any slower? Okay. So I'm gonna go in the same path. This is right here, right? So resource UI HUD. So resource UI HUD, and then it was this one here, damage control panel. And by using this, I was able to compare this and this. Simple as that, easy, easy, easy. So this is obviously uh, red. So, as you can see, this is really close to this right here, which is red, and if I go ahead and type this in, it should be uh, should be light blue. And as you can see, it is light blue. And so by doing that, what I did was I just scrolled it over here to make like a really nice purple or whatever, and then I went and copied that. I went over to this over here, and I moved the uh, moved it like that, and now it's purple. That's what how I figure that out. Boom. Uh, let's see if it's purple. Purple schmurple dirple. Nice, they got the pills. And now it's purple. That's a nice purple too. Beautiful. This thing is brutal. Holy smokes. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, now we're going to be taking a look at, at um, conflicting add-ons. So let's go ahead and display capture. So I'm going to be looking at my pack that I have. Uh, my pack is in, uh, where is it? It's someplace, that's for sure. Right here. I'm going to look into here. I know it's uh, HUD layout. .txt, whatever, right? Okay, so... It should be script, right? Or it might not be. It might be resource. No, it's right here. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Why do I have a copy? It does not matter. I don't care. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're going to take this over here. Tutorial. Where is this located? It's located in script, so it goes over here. It goes in the script. That's not script. Do you not know how to freaking read? Jesus. Okay. Anyways. Goes in the scripts. Okay, so this one does not have the green. It does not have the blue, whatever the freak it's called. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, the whenever you select something, it's all whatever. So if I were to go to my left of two on my Xbox, go to HUD layout, right. So normally, whenever you have something that's conflicting, you know this usually happens. You're gonna over here and it's gonna be like oh you want to replace it and that means you lose some stuff because you don't really know like what what the heck is going on so I'm going to open up this one this is the original and I'm going to go over to my Xbox one there you go so boom boom uh, 
let's do this one. This one is the original. Okay, so original. This one is my Xbox One. So boom. Compare. Let's see what's different. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait, what's different about here? Um. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so this position. Okay, this is different. Okay, so this is the survival timer. This is not it. This is not it. HUD scavenge process. That's not it. Uh, let's see. I know that it's a color, so it can't be any of this, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. This is it right here. Selected item color. I'm pretty sure this is it. So this is the original, right? So this should be... The original is green. And it has more green to it, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, let me see. I don't know. Give me one second. Let's see this. Let's see what it looks like. It is green. Okay, so right. Okay. And then we go over here. Oh, what am I doing? Go over here. This one should be a nice, like, uh, light blue color, or whatever, right? Go ahead and check it out. Boom. So it is a light blue. So that's how you can do conflicting stuff. You can see which one do you want. I want blue. I want, I want the blue stuff here. So I'm going to copy all of this right here from this side and put it on this side. So to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to copy this real quick. So this is the edited side. Okay, so right here, we do the same thing over here. And I'm going to copy all this right here because I know that all this is different. And I'm going to paste it over. Boom, beautiful. So now if I go ahead and, uh, what am I doing? So if I go ahead and uh, blah, 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 right here. Control X. Go over here, I'm gonna go to my add-ons. This is gonna be a lot to edit because this is so long. Okay, tutorial thing. So this should have uh, the HUD layout now. And so I'll see you guys when I'm there. A little bit nervous. I hope this works. It better work because I'm going to cry. Okay, it works. You can see it's all blue. Light blue. It's beautiful. I think this also... I don't know if that has to deal with anything, that color right there, but... And you can see it's blue. So... Um, the stuff around it, you see it's all like purple and blue. That was already there. So that would have been conflicting. I would have to choose over the purple and blue one or just the the light blue with the numbers and uh, whatever I'm selecting, right? I have to choose between it. But using the way I just showed you, you can combine things together so you can see what's conflicting or not. So that's really useful to use, you know, whenever you're looking through stuff, whatever's conflicting. Um, sometimes the add-ons will not tell you that it's conflicting even though it actually is I don't know why that's the case but you just want to compare like files or whatever together and that's basically all you have to do cheeseburger <laughs>